Using RSS feeds is a quick and easy way of adding relevant and up-to-date content to your module. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication, and lots of websites on the internet publish their content via RSS. You might have seen this icon before. Whenever you see this icon, it means that you can grab content from the website you're on and display it elsewhere. Clicking on the icon will take you to the RSS page. It shows you all of the content contained in the RSS feed. It usually just mirrors the content contained on the website itself, but can contain other information such as images or video. In this example, I'm going to add a link to the business section of the BBC News website. Whenever a new story is posted in this section of their website, the content shown in Blackboard will update without me having to do anything. First of all, find the RSS icon on the page. Depending on the web browser you're using, it might be shown in the web page or on the browser toolbar. Either way, the icon should look the same. Once you click on the RSS link, you need to select the web address from the address bar and copy it. Now you have a copy of the address to the RSS feed. You need to go to Blackboard. In the module you want to add the RSS feed to, navigate to the content area you want to place the feed content in. At the top of the page, click the Add Interactive Tool icon. From the menu that appears, click RSS feed. Enter a title in the title box, and right-click in the feed URL box and click Paste. If you want, you can click the Advanced Options link to change the way information in the RSS feed is displayed in your module. By clicking on the Styling link, you can change the colour scheme for the content. When you're ready, click Submit. The content contained within the RSS feed is now displayed inside your module. When new items get added to the feed by the author, they'll automatically update in your Blackboard module. Students can click on the links in the article titles to be taken to the BBC News website and read the whole article.